Hey guys, it's Ashley Warnanson with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are hanging out on the set of one of my favorite shows, Switched at Birth. We're going to be talking to the cast, taking you around all the beautiful rooms, and getting some sneak peeks for the season premiere June 10th. Oh, have you had a long day? Yeah, no, not really, actually. I got here at like 9.30. Okay, not bad. No. You don't live in Santa Clarita, though, do no. you? Oh my no. Gosh, no, no. Yeah, so everyone knows we're in Santa Clarita. <laughs> yes. Switched at birth is not filmed in Hollywood no. or anything. It's up here Santa in the Florida, you know, mountains. We are. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of exciting and a little bit crazy. Yeah. Your character is on this road to be getting married right now. Yeah, I know. Tell me about I'm like nuts. what it's going to be like her transitioning with the Kennish family. Well, you know, we've kind of explored that a little bit, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mama Bear's kind of at odds with Mickey on mm -hmm. this whole wedding thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been kind of interesting. Yeah. But I think at heart, uh, Catherine kind of loves Mickey for her son, so hopefully the wedding will happen and everything will be I was going to say, let's be honest, is this wedding going to happen? Honestly, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. I you guys no look idea. really cute together. Like, I would pair you guys together in real life. Yeah, not going to lie. We love each other. Not that way, but, <laughs> you know. Spoiler alert! <laughs> real love on set. No, no, no. no, no. But, uh, but, yeah, he's a sweetheart. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm hoping for a wedding. I don't know about you guys, mm -hmm. but I hope one will happen. Okay, so you we'll don't see. even know that I yet. really don't. Wow. God, honest truth. I have no idea. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's nuts. So, and what's interesting to me about your character is you made it very clear. I'm on this spiritual journey mm -hmm. and you don't seem to be on that. I don't want to force you on that. Yeah. So uh, do you think like Toby's going to become a Christian? We never really talked about his faith. No, I don't think that's, okay. I don't think he will. Cause he's, you know, he's kind of just like Nikki is kind of set in her beliefs. I think yeah. Toby is too. Okay. And I, I don't think Toby is as confident with you know, what will happen in the next life and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I think he, he knows what feels right to him, mm -hmm. and I, I don't think Christianity is for Toby, yeah. okay. uh, which is interesting because sometimes that can be really hard to have yeah. a Christian and someone who doesn't have the same faith to be in a relationship. Yeah. But luckily, I think Toby and Nikki both are kind of open-minded that way yeah. and know that they love each other. So mm -hmm. they're just trying to work it out. What is going to be the biggest challenge? I mean, they're in high school yeah. of being married uh, is Mama and Papa going to cut him off at some point? I don't know. I mean, that's I, I'm 19, and I can't mm -hmm. even imagine getting married in the next, yeah. like, five years. Yeah. So. Right? Oh, yeah. Me neither. There's a lot of responsibility <laughs> and I know. stuff. But, yeah. You know. Are you guys going to have to, like, get jobs? You would think so, eventually. Yeah, right. Think, uh, and hopefully, you know, there's the question about Toby going to college. Mm-hmm could possibly not possibly happen. So. Oh, no. So we'll see. We'll see. Beyonce's messing things up. Ooh. It's terrible, I know. So what's been, like, your most fun episode for you that you shot? Um, a lot of them have been really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of have some interesting ones coming up with this wedding happening. And okay. I, I really hope there is a wedding because I want to wear a wedding dress. I want to, like, yeah. try them on and have that whole experience. Yeah. So... <laughs> Hopefully, you know, hopefully that'll happen. But um, it's kind of, we're kind of getting into different dynamics here with Nikki because she is kind of getting integrated into the family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's working now at the Senate for... Oh, um, that's right. Yeah, she so... Gets chosen. Mm -hmm. Yes, so she is kind of working side by side with Daphne and they kind of disagree on some issues. Okay. So that's kind of been fun to play mm -hmm. around with. Um, so uh, it's kind of fun getting integrated into the whole cool. family. Yeah, I've never really seen you had to do sign language because you're usually just with Toby yeah, I mean, and others. And Nikki, curiously enough, doesn't really sign. Like, yeah. I think, I don't, you know, I don't know if she maybe just doesn't spend enough time with Daphne to, mm -hmm. you know, learn signing. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see if they kind of incorporate signing with Nikki or not. Yeah. So far they haven't, but I'm kind of hoping they will. We'll see. Who do you think Nikki is going to have the biggest challenge with besides Mama Bear? Do you think it's going to be Daphne? Do you think it's going to be Bay? Um, I kind of see it as being Daphne because, okay. you know, in, in the Senate, we are working side by side and, mm -hmm. and um, she's very against this abstinence only clause that comes up, Daphne wow. is. And Nikki, of course, is all about that. She mm -hmm. is, that's what she wants, mm -hmm. you know, abstinence. When, and Nikki kind of sees, like, okay, it's not for everyone, but, again, she's very, very confident and, mm -hmm. you know, very aware of her beliefs and very mm -hmm. secure in those beliefs. So, mm -hmm. you know, they've kind of had some 
tiffs about it. Yeah. Um, but you know, again, I think I think Daphne and Nikki like each other on a personal level, but not mm -hmm. not really on a professional level. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So, Switch at Birth to me is literally so different than any show I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah. How is it like for you being a part of this cast versus other casts you've been with? Um, it's just I've been so lucky to be part of the shows that I have been. Mm -hmm. um, coming out of Switch at Birth, there's such a such a close tight knit family mm -hmm. and um walking into this was like scary at first because i was like oh my gosh they all know mm -hmm. each other so well and it's scary like, yeah busted. yeah yeah but luckily i, I knew lucas before and okay. uh, he kind of let me kind of helped me settle in real quickly okay and okay. just like working with all these people that have been in the industry for so long is like mm -hmm. it's been really fun yeah yeah that's awesome what effect do you think switched at birth is having on the world as a whole I mean, honestly, I think it's bringing so much awareness to the deaf community, which mm -hmm. is so awesome and inspirational. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they don't just touch on that, though. They touch on so many different issues that mm -hmm. so many teenagers are going through and so many, you know, so many people can relate to the show. And mm -hmm. I think that's what has driven it to be so successful is that it's really like there's nothing out there that's like it. Yeah. And it's um, it's very relatable for anyone. You know, mm -hmm. if you're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you, know, you can yeah. watch it and relate. Whether it is your character and her beliefs as a Christian or, you know, the beliefs of Switched at Birth as a whole, what feedback have you gotten that's really inspired you that you know someone was like I was inspired by your character or I was inspired by Switched at Birth yeah I mean I think um you know Switched is hopefully inspired a lot of people and mm -hmm. I've I have some really great fans behind me already which is so mm -hmm. so nice and so yeah. many of them write to me and say like we're so inspired by Nikki not giving mm -hmm. in to you know having sex with Toby mm -hmm. and it's hard when you're mm -hmm. a young girl and you like have mm -hmm. these feelings for somebody and yeah. you you know you want to be with them because you love them mm -hmm. but Sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about whatever you need to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to be physical with somebody, don't. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that to be in love and yeah. be in a good relationship. And I, mm -hmm. I hope that girls see that. And I hope mm -hmm. they see, like, that is not what a relationship is about. And mm -hmm. you can have love without sex. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they see that. And what's that. interesting is that Toby always went after the bad girls. And now I know. he's and now trying to end up with a good girl. I know. So what hey, does that teach good, you? Good girls. We finished last. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Is there anything coming up that you're like, oh, you're going to want to keep your eye out for this? I mean, I'm super excited I, as a fan, as a part of the show. I want to see that What If episode yeah. so bad. Yeah. I wasn't a By part of By the way, of everyone, episode. the What If episode is um, what if Regina had told everyone about the switch ahead of time? Would mm -hmm. she still be in the picture? Yeah. What would everyone what, look like? What would it be like? Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm so excited because mm -hmm. I wasn't part of filming at all. Like I wasn't okay. in that episode. Okay. So I don't really know mm -hmm. what went on. Like, yeah. of course I read the script and I kind of know, but yeah. it, you, it's so fun to see it come to life. So I'm yeah. very excited. Do you all watch the episodes together? Or are you one of those that never um, watches? I don't, I don't, you know, I kind of like to watch it on my own or like yeah. at home, yeah. you know, sometimes they show it at lunch or whatever, like yeah. for the, uh, you know, first premiere episode of the season or something. Yeah. But I personally like watching it at home. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite part of working on Switch Shipper? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I guess just coming to work and not feeling stressed out. Like I come to work oh, and wow. I just feel like so at ease about right. everything. Yeah. I mean, no one, everyone is so easy and so kind that like yeah. you show up and you're like, all right, let's do it. It's just really fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Keep an eye out for Switched at Birth airing June 10th. Yes. Only on ABC Family. ABC Family. And let's see what happens with Nikki and Daphne, right? Never Going know. head to head. I know. Never know. <laughs> I love it. No, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And for more interviews, as always, subscribe. And check out the season premiere of Switched at Birth on ABC Family, June 10th. We'll see you next time.